Mindful Life Practice Community. So welcome to your yin yoga practice. We'll start our practice in a cross-legged seated position. You can anchor through your sits bones and then lengthen up through your spine. And then rest your palms either on your lap face down or maybe you rest them face up. Taking big expansive inhales and exhales. And as you anchor your attention to your breath, let that anchor bring you into the present moment. Letting go of everything that came before and after the here and now. practice this morning will be themed around the intention of satya. Satya being honesty or truth. Practicing honesty with yourself about where you're at in your practice. Practicing honesty with yourself off your yoga mat as well. So maybe your intention is, I am honest. Can you take another breath in this shape? We'll just wake up by warming up through the spine. So taking a big breath in, sweeping your arms upward. Luna, take your right palm, lifting your left arm over to the right. Lifting your arms all the way up. 
and then landing your left palm, reaching the right arm over to the left. both arms up, big breath in. And then can you move in a rotation? So you're going to land your left palm on your right thigh, land your right palm behind your spine, knees over the right shoulder. And lift your arms all the way up and then rotate left hand behind right or sorry behind the spine and right palm on the left thigh And then just gathering your palms in heart center. And then we're going to start our practice by coming into some hamstring stretches this morning. So you're going to have your right leg long in front of you. And your left sole of foot is going to come to the inside of the right leg. Taking a big breath in, just finding length along your body. And then just tilt your body forward and slowly start to hinge over the right leg. So we're going to be in this stretch for a total of three minutes. One of the most common ways that I see satya being practiced or not being practiced during yoga. Is when people show up to a class and they aren't honest with themselves about where they're at. If you pull yourself too deep into this fold, then that's what's going to cause injury. And if you go too easy on yourself, then you're not going to get anywhere. I think we need to be mindful too about you know how every day in the journey can be different. Right, normally I can move quite deep into this pose, but I'm doing this practice at 6:30 in the morning. So of course 
my hamstring is going to be tighter than usual because I just got out of bed. And if I just try to dive super deep into the pose, despite this, this is what's going to cause me injury. Right? So Satya is, is having awareness around that. Can you take another couple breaths in this forward fold? And then just gently start to roll up. And then just bring your right leg into close and let's sit crisscross for a moment. Just allowing this to be like a neutral rebound pose where you can observe the difference from the right side to the left side. And then we will go the opposite way. So lengthen your left leg long, taking a breath in, and then slowly starting to hinge forward. being honest with yourself about the depth of your pose in this moment. Knowing that it will take time, it will take patience, it will take consistency.
it's okay because you you can practice that you have all that within you and yoga practice is our time to embody these qualities so that we can cultivate them off our yoga mats as well Take a few more breaths. And then can you roll all the way up to seated? Cross your legs, come back into a rebound again, palms on the thighs. and feeling your breath. We're going to take one more pose before we rest in a Shavasana, final resting pose. And the pose we're going to come into is saddle. Okay, so you can either just come and take your knees together and your toes apart and then sit your bottom down between your heels. Okay, that's option one. Option two, if this is too uncomfortable for you, if it's not suiting your knees, you can have your bottom underneath your block and just lengthen your heart out a little bit. And then if you do feel like you have a bit more spacing, you can come a little deeper. You're gonna put your bottom down on the mat. And then maybe you can walk the elbows back. Perhaps you're on the elbows. Maybe you're all the way down on the back body. Just be mindful of the fact that there's no hierarchy of poses. Right? There's no better or worse. Choosing a pose that is sustainable for you. So my favorite thing about the Yoga Sutras is that Pantanjali, who devised them thousands of years ago in India, he didn't tell us how to live our yoga. He just told us to live our yoga. He came up with honesty or satya as one of the pillars of yoga, but he didn't tell us what that meant. And 
And so ultimately that's up to you to decide. So in what ways are you going to practice satya outside of this yoga class? I know when I first started yoga, I had a big focus on trying not to over exaggerate. Trying to, help, trying to tell stories exactly as they happened. Take a few more breaths in this pose. And then just gently start to make your way up out of it. We're going to make our way into a final resting pose. Whether you come all the way down into a full Shavasana, Whether you come into another seated shape. Just choose a pose that will be a container for you to process this practice. back in a moment or two when the time is up.
your back body, just give it a little wiggle. Running a nice long stretch through the whole body, fingers all the way through toes. Bringing the knees in, giving your body a sweet little hug. And then just gently making your way up to join me in a seated shape with the hands at the heart center. No rush to get there. Lengthening through the spine and closing the eyes. So we finish our practice with an intention. An ancient intention, but perhaps the original intention. Passed from heart to heart through thousands of years. that our practice remain steady and our efforts continuous, and that our yoga serves and benefits all beings everywhere. May all beings be safe and happy and healthy and free, and may the thoughts and actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. So we'll finish with a little ohm sound. We're gonna inhale and exhale, inhale through to make the ohm. So take a big breath in, breath out, big breath in, thank you so much for joining me for sharing the space and the practice, light in me, season and honors, light in you, namaste.